Good morning. My name's Jenny and it's another week of Family Art Club. So this week we are kicking off our three week series of all different kinds of really fun printmaking techniques that you can do at home with materials that you already have laying around the house. And to get us started, we are going to be making foam prints. So you can buy scratch foam, but to make these awesome fun little prints, you can also use styrofoam plates. Um, we're going to do a two-step process where we make our actual print and then I'm going to really quickly show you what we're going to be printing on. So I, today I am going to be making a little print for my watercolor test that I did um, several weeks ago. Um, you can find it on Family Art Club on YouTube. It's the like watercolor techniques or watercolor, I can't remember what I called it. Um, something about like textures, oh, watercolor textures. And so this is just one of my um, pieces of watercolor texture that I made in that video. And I'm gonna print right on here because I love, we're gonna want like a really fun, super colorful background. If you, but if you don't wanna do watercolor textures or you don't have time or you wanna do something else, you can also just take, this is like a, like a multi-purpose paper. It's a little thicker than copy paper. Um, it's not quite as thick as a watercolor paper. Um, and in the past several weeks, I've been really like kind of playing around with these quick sticks. So you could also um, color, you could have your, some, your kiddo cover your page, coloring up, all, covering up all the white with, here I'm getting the texture from my tray, with quick sticks. Quick sticks are great because they, um, it's paint like in a glue stick form, but it also dries in 90 seconds. So if you don't have a ton of time or don't want to get messy at all that day, this is like the thing to do. It's really easy for littles because you don't have to press really hard. The paint is really soft. And if they know how to use, like how to turn up the thing on a glue stick, they know in how to use a quick stick. Um, you can see for this one, because we're really gonna be focusing on the textures that we're going to make in our prints any kind of background image that you print on i don't like it to, it's it can be like too busy if you have it like try and actually draw a picture or have it be too patterned um so this is why with these quick sticks it's really easy and great it looks great to just do like a wash of color When I use the blue quick stick over the yellow, I still get like color mixing. It turns green, which is fun. And you can, you know, go over a spot several different times and get um, a darker, more opaque color. Or you can go over it just once and get a lighter more transparent watercolory effect. But these are tempera paints, so they're not they're not quite as watercolor like transparent as um watercolor. I'm just going to get this going. Let's maybe see a little bit of green. Okay, 
So where I just put tempera down, tempera quick stick down, it's a little still wet, but it will dry in a jiffy. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Um, and now I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to get my scratch foam. And we are going to make what is called a plate, which is kind of funny, if you, especially if you use it, make it from styrofoam plates. We're actually making a plate, but it's a whole different kind of plate. It's called a printmaking plate. And our plate is just the thing that we put our paint or our ink on to actually make our like stamp effect. Um, the great thing about styrofoam printing is that you can easily cut the size or shape that you'd like to print. So I think I'm gonna do like a series of um, buildings or houses. So I'm going to actually cut my styrofoam down into the shape I want. So the thing is, we're gonna be using black paint. So if you just have a lot of extra space that you're not really using, it'll just end up being just like black. So I don't really want to have a bunch of extra black on my, on my prints because I want them I want it to be able to really see the background. So when you're doing this, so you can do any shape you want. You could do like stars, flowers, suns, houses or buildings. But the thing is, when you're doing this, so when you put your paint on here, you have to think like, okay, you're gonna rub paint on here. And if you just rub paint on, it's just gonna make a flat stamp, just like a rubber stamp, and the whole thing will be black. So you can use, these are scratch sticks. They're like pointy dowel sticks. You can also use um, the, a pencil or a ballpoint pen. Really, this is a really soft foam, just like the foam in a styrofoam plate. And you're just gonna scratch or press your image onto here. So I'm going to test it out with a couple different. I'm going to start with my door. And so because we're really thinking about um, textures, I want to make sure that I, the more lines and shading and textures I put on here, the cooler it will look. So um, I'm going to spend just a few minutes and I'm going to pause us real quick and you, I'm going to put me into like hyperdrive and you can see me draw and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So just one moment. All right, so with the magic of an iPhone, I sped up my carving process and I have completely filled my house with texture. I have siding, I have a bunch of panes in my windows. I've got shake like shingles on my roof and the whole piece of foam is covered in texture. So, now we get to the fun part. For this, we're actually gonna print. So for this thing, I'm going to use a cookie sheet. And I'm going to, this is just a little bit of black. We don't want a lot. Um, washable tempera paint. You could also use acrylic or you could use block printing ink, but tempera paint works fine and it's easy for kiddos and all kinds of stuff. Block printing ink for other kind of things works 
well too, but it just, it's not really necessary for a project like this. So I'm gonna start with this foam brush and I'm just smoothing it out because the thing that we don't wanna do is get too much paint on our block, our printing plate. So, because that way, if we get too much paint on here, it'll seep into our grooves that we worked so hard to get. And you can always, if you get too much paint on your print, you can always um, wash your plates off. That's the beauty of styrofoam. If you're gentle, you don't wanna use like you don't want to be like you want to make sure you're gentle because if you are not gentle you can actually actually add more scratches that you weren't in um trying to do but if you're gentle you can kind of just rinse it under water and pat it dry and get your block um or your printing plate uh ha like uh, ready to go again and we can try again. So I've got my ink here or my paint here and I'm going to actually roll it. I've got this foam roller. If you, if you don't have a foam roller, you can also just use a foam brush, something nice and soft. And I'm going to go really gently over here and just roll my paint because I want it to be covered on my sponge roller, but I don't want it to be gloopy. So I'm going to go, this is like the same way you would do it if you had block printing ink as you go in one direction and then you go in another direction until it's like is covered, but not gloopy. So now I'm going to try rolling it on and I want it to be like definitely covered so it's not going to be speckly. I want it to be covered in my smooth spots, but not in my in my um, carved spots. So I'm just doing this really lightly. I'm barely pressing down. I'm just making sure that you can see like even in my stamp I've got you can still see a lot of my lines. And then I'm going to arrange it here like I like, somewhere where I like it on my, on my watercolor sheet. And I'm going to press firmly, but try not to move it around. So I'm just kind of pressing with my hand. You can take two hands and press, but I'm pressing like pretty evenly rather than like too much in one specific place with like a finger or something like that. I'm just doing gentle, even pressing, and then you can lift and look how cool that looks. It turned out so awesome. I think the black paint looks really awesome against these really brightly colored um, backgrounds. So I'm gonna try it again on my other piece of paper. And usually when you do the first one, it takes us a little bit longer to get the, like, the paint on the first one to get it evenly covered. And then from then on, from then on, it's easier to cover your plate. It just works a little bit better. And the thing is about this kind of printing is, and printmaking in general, each pressing is going to be different. So um, you might get some that are like lighter, some that are darker. That's just the way it works. If you want to keep, I mean, my hands are pretty messy because 
um, just because of the way I'm rolling it here on this uh, tray. But like I said, it's washable, so it, it comes off. But I did get a little bit of paint on my picture, like on my paper. I'm not worried about it. If you're worried about it, you can just make sure that your hands are clean when you put your stamp down. Let's try this one. Oh, it looks good. So you can see, and I can fill this up with all different kinds of houses or buildings, whatever I want to do. I love this project. I think it looks super graphic and cool. Um, and it's like a really great, fun intro to printmaking. Um, and yeah, it's a blast. So join me next week. We'll be doing a different kind of printmaking. And I hope you have a ton of fun with this. These turned out so much fun. Um, and I will see you next week. All right. Bye.